Jersey, the largest of the Channel Islands, has a population of just 100,000 and as such it poses challenges to its telecoms operator, which is why JT has taken the unique step of opening up its network to other companies, effectively turning the entire island into a telco lab. Jersey is really 100 miles south of London, sitting in the English Channel, and we're about 14 miles from the coast of France, and we've got about 44 thousand premises on the island that we're running point to point fiber to uh, as part of this Gigabit Isles project. Gigabit Isles is delivering high bandwidth capacity that's future proof now. It's really difficult to predict exactly what the demand is going to be. So uh, we wanted to put in an infrastructure that was capable of doing a gigabit to every premise. So what was the ideal infrastructure to deliver for the next 20 years? So clearly that was fiber all the way to the premise. So we lift um, all the holes, we sort out all the poles, we put fibre everywhere, we close the covers and walk away and don't have to touch it again. So, so it is a point-to-point -point Ethernet architecture. Uh, we decided not to go with a, a G-PON, GE-PON type architecture, mainly because we never wanted to touch the fibre again. Um, and of course we can now guarantee speeds well into the future. You do get line speed at one gig because it's an Ethernet port that's open at one gig. So you are getting line speed. Do you get end-to-end -end throughput? There's many things that impact end-to-end -end throughput. And, that, and that's the, always a tough question to answer with customers because what PC are they running? You know, what's their in home wiring that is a liberalized, it's their wiring. What's the server end doing in the cloud somewhere? What's happening on the internet at that point in time? Throughput is an end-to-end -end question, not a, a, an access network question. What it does do is remove the access network from the equation. To build a digital economy, you've got to have a digital infrastructure. The whole idea, of course, is to have a suite of products with wraparound services around purely that bandwidth capability. This is a migration of all copper broadband services. This isn't demand-driven. This is, we are changing it out. We are switching off the copper network and we are switching on the fiber network. Our new uh, 4G mobile network, for instance, will be delivered back call on our gigabit fiber. JT provides a mobile service across the Channel Islands. So we provide a service in Jersey, Guernsey, Aldney and Nellar Islands. Um, we provide a 42 megabit service on data to our customers and we provide obviously a voice service. The next step for us is uh, LTE Advanced. So we'll move to a possible 300 megabits per second to our targets. Realistically, the aim for us is to light our service before the end of this year and have commercial service earlier next year. We went between the choice of an overlay network and complete removal to a multi-standard architecture. So we've gone for the multi-standard architecture. So at each radio site, I will have 2G, 3G and LT Advanced. It gives us the whole blend and it sort of takes us beyond the market, which is what we're interested in. JT Lab actually is my live infrastructure. It's my fixed gigabit network, it's my broadband, it's my uh, mobile infrastructure. What JT Lab is not, is not a building off to the side with Faraday cages and equipment and guys in white lab coats. JT Lab is my production network, along with when people want to do tests and trials, they usually want to do it not only on equipment, but with people and end user feedback. And so we extend that out with our relationships in the island to the rest of the, uh, the population, the island businesses. Once we started rolling out gigabit fiber, point to point fiber to every home in Jersey, which is quite uh, innovative in itself, I think we were looking for ways to further exploit that. Um, going out to talk to the rest of the world about that, we also realized that there were a lot of folks really interested in working with the tier one telco. And so we then opened it up to the rest uh, of the infrastructure, not just the gigabit network. Uh, when it comes to a lot of our mobile network um, and partners wanting to work with us, a lot of them are attracted by the amount of roaming agreements we have and the reach that they can get through those roaming agreements. It's kind of an island mentality that you look out constantly. So we have 530 roaming agreements around the world. We have a very developed steering platform. And with these tools in the background and an oversized packet environment, machine to machine is an obvious place to go. So we've targeted many verticals outside of our business that supply IMSIs into these businesses. So it's, it's proving one of the biggest growth areas in our business now. What makes us quite unique is being small and agile in that we can do things in days and weeks as opposed to what I've heard with some of the bigger 
lab facilities that might take months or years. In the US, we have KPMG Analytics that we partner with. Uh, in Israel, we have Security Dam, Rad Group, Compass, and then obviously we also work with Intel. Compass, for example, is a new partner of ours that joined JT Lab. They have some really great technology, optical uh, technology. And what they really want to do is move that from uh, and use a, as a pilot JT for testing their software in a live environment. And uh, so it's kind of a win-win for both companies in that we get to view this really advanced technology and they get some live testing out of it. All our partners hold reference pieces here. So our partners may be Converse or Cisco or Elkatel historically, our new mobile partner. We are very open. Each one of those relationships has a memorandum of understanding for openness of our network. So we supply an awful lot of reference work. On the other side of things, the amount of the amount of interaction and sort of thought exchange that comes through this, these entries where they may be startups, they may, may be building a protocol stack, but that detail shared with our design architects is a fantastic environment. So it really helps us as well. We do feel that Jersey really is a springboard into Europe and particularly for a lot of US businesses. And they find that Jersey with our cloud services and our platforms that they can test something here even in the local market for feedback and then launch it uh, via the internet or via the cloud into the UK or Europe. We have to develop a business on top of a basic infrastructure. It's all well and good having pipes and, and HLRs and capacity or HSSs, but actually you've got to open those to really get the value from them. Uh, we encourage it massively. I think it's a really important part. Um, telcos shouldn't be scared of what they call OTT. Um, because it's a, a global ecosystem um, and we've got to embrace it. You can't fight it. Innovation's kind of the heart of, of JT. It's, you know, it's from the executive, our chief exec down, that we have to think differently and do things differently because we're a small fish in a big ocean. And the only way we can actually um, uh, win lots of business and grow our revenue base and, uh, is to be creative and be innovative. We're a tier one operator. So I own all the access networks. I own the links between the islands, I own the hosting centers, and of course I own a lot of the mobile sites as well. I can run one gigabit, multi one gigabit service to each of these sites with no problem. I'm able to split some of the functionality between baseband processing and remote radio heads. So again, I can cut down on power, site space, flexibility of target. I have a very uh, easy system to manipulate. So yeah, we innovate an awful lot. There's levels of innovation have to be all the way through the business. It's not just about proposition to market. So we need to be meaner, leaner and keener all the time. We're looking to become the partner of choice for telecoms innovation. And um, opening up our infrastructure is one way to actually achieve this. This is Gary Daniels for Telecom TV in Jersey.